Hi guys, welcome back to Gardening with Creations by DX and Co. Today I've got a big problem in the garden that I'm dealing with. Let me show you what it is that I'm dealing with so you can help identify it and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to try to do to get rid of them. Let's get started. It's a little windy I hope the mic's not picking it up too bad uh, but you can see I've got the greenhouse moved and you know finally able to really get at my plants uh, you can see the cucumber plants were growing really well after we put the uh, nitrogen down from the grass clippings and then I started getting this wilt on here that was my first sign of you know maybe something was wrong and then I started noticing that I actually got some cucumber beetles. So let me see if we can get some that they like to eat your leaves. So you can see they're just decimating the leaves of your plant. Now there are two different types of cucumber beetles. There are the striped ones or the spotted ones. Looks like so far I'm dealing with the striped ones. Uh, they both do the exact same thing. Uh, they like to hide in the blossoms. So you're gonna to wanna to look, you'll see them mostly in the blossoms, they do fly. Uh, so you might see them elsewhere. Uh, but you can, the problem with them is A, they eat your vegetation like this, right? So they start to eat it. But they actually carry disease. So they actually spread disease among your plants. So they can bring plant disease like this and start, and it can start to affect your plants. Now, uh, your plants can bounce back, of course. Um, but you need to address the problem. There are several ways to address the problem. Um, and I say all this and yet I'm not seeing any beetles. That would be lovely if they were actually gone, but they're not. Uh, so here we go. Let's zoom in on this guy right here. See him there? See if we can get it focused. That is what we're dealing with. They fly, so it's kind of hard to catch them. Uh, you can squish them right so you can deal with it that way but now I've closed up the flower so that's not cool right um, and you may not have gotten him see he dodged me you know I didn't even get him so that's not really working for us so there are several types of things that you can do um, so seven is a brand of um, bug spray if you will so it's called seven they say it's safe for your garden things like that I personally have never used seven before um, and I don't use it on my garden um, but here's the problem guys is that this cucumber beetle this little guy right there that we're dealing with it's also mating season so they're mating and they lay their eggs in the soil and these creatures actually start attacking the roots of your plant so you need to address this now there is an organic way of dealing with this and that's what I'm gonna do today so let me go get the solution that I'm talking about and let's take a look. Okay, so this is the solution that I'm talking about. So there are other solutions like the sticky trap, which actually works pretty well from what I hear. I'll uh, try to put a picture of it and maybe a link um, from Amazon or something. So it's kind of like a fly trap, thinking of it like that. Uh, you set it out on, I could probably put it right on my trellis here and they would fly and get stuck to it. And so kind of another organic solution, if you will. Uh, but I'm going to use neem oil, mostly because I had it on hand and it does work for these. So um, you want to mix about two to four ounces per US gallon. Sorry if you're over the pond, um, but the instructions are um, on the label on the, uh, on the back, you just peel it up um, or you can find them online. So I've gone ahead and pre-mixed my solution here. Now it is best to do this in early morning uh, if you're going to do it. Um, but I'm actually I'm actually late evening for me right now, so I'm actually going to do it just now. And then uh, you reapply. Neem oil is one that you do have to reapply, so you have to wait several days to reapply. Um, so make sure you follow the instructions appropriately on that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these sprayed, and uh, hopefully we can get rid of some of these cucumber beetles. Okay, so I don't think I can pick it up on camera, but maybe. What you want to do is make sure you're giving this 
a generous healthy spray uh, because you do the directions do say you want the plant to be wet after uh, so I went ahead and used up that entire spray bottle on just these few plants and got it nice and wet I sprayed the ground like right where the the roots are so hopefully we can get it to soak into the soil and kill uh, that and I got all of the leaves and um, everything sprayed so hopefully that will be enough to deter them and get them out of this area if nothing else and then like I said I will reapply that application um, according to the instructions in uh, about two days and then I will we'll check back and see how it's doing okay it has been two days since our last application of neem oil spray and you can see plants are growing uh, so during that application I just finished that application and I had a major thunderstorm roll in and just downpoured so I don't know that the neem oil stuck um, I did see the next day at least one cucumber beetle and looks like we've got at least one there now so I'm gonna go ahead and reapply liberally like I said I've got my spray bottle of neem oil so I'm gonna go ahead and just start by making sure that I reapply you want to make sure that it's nice and heavy getting everything soaked now it is early morning at the moment I'm trying to make sure I get inside all of the blossoms get all the leaves let me finish this up and we'll check back in a couple days okay so it has been another 24 hours I'm not seeing any signs of any more cucumber beetles now it did uh, rain overnight and this morning here so uh, but you can see we're already putting on new growth and that new growth is not showing any signs of disease either so looking inside the ah bummer we still have some cucumber beetles so where are they there's only a few okay so back to the cucumber beetle video um, you can see this devastation is not done by cucumber beetles in fact so during this I had a violent storm rip through rip down the trellis uh, ripped out the uh, cucumbers I was able to get the trellis back up and some of them are surviving um, trying our best here but uh, some other ones just didn't make it um, but back to the actual cucumber beetles it looks like the two rounds of neem oil uh, really did make a huge difference uh, I'm not seeing any uh, issues with cucumber beetles uh, in a couple of days now so neem oil is the way that I will go moving forward so follow the directions for the concentrate on the bottle uh, as I, I did have to reapply obviously um, applying early morning is best and uh, so definitely was able to save at least some of my cucumbers um, and you're seeing new growth on here which is fantastic not seeing any signs of any cucumber beetles uh, so whether you're utilizing squash plants or um, cucumbers neem oil is the way that I would go if you're trying to stay 100% organic so. so thanks for watching guys um, that's how to get rid of cucumber beetles especially if you can catch them early um, unfortunately I, I'm not going to have a great crop of cucumbers this year um, you know a little bit with the devastation from the cucumber beetles a little mostly from the weather unfortunately uh, but I was able to at least save a couple so I can still get some for eating just probably not all enough for pickling um, so you know it's uh, it's been a strange year weather wise uh, if you haven't checked out that video on 
the aftermath of the storm you know check it out let me know what you guys think um i hope you guys gardens are faring better than mine this year um and i uh, hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens thanks for watching